Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's movie review here. Hope you do enjoy the video. Today, I'd like to bring you my unboxing and review of Babylon on 4K Steelbook. Babylon was provided to me for review by Paramount Pictures, and the Steelbook does include 4K Ultra HD, Blu ray, and digital. Kind of a cool artwork here. Um, I just realized it's actually like mirrored um, there, so it's not quite as many people as it appears to be. Here's like the spine does have the Paramount logo on the top corner. Uh, this does have a glossy finish to it. An absolute spectacle. From Damien Chazelle, Babylon is an original epic set in 1920s Los Angeles, led by Brad Pitt, Marco Robbie, and Diego Calva, with an ensemble cast including Gene Smart, Jovan Adepo, and Lee Jun Lee. A tale of outsized ambition and outrageous excess. It traces the rise and fall of multiple characters during an era of unbridled decadence and depravity in early Hollywood. Disc 1 is the 4K film, Disc 2 is the Blu-ray film, and Disc 3 is the Blu-ray special features. Um, I'm guessing these are the special features here. A uh, panoramic canvas called Babylon, the costumes of Babylon, scoring Babylon, and deleted and extended scenes. A couple images uh, from the film. This one is rated R for strong and crude sexual content, graphic nudity, bloody violence, drug use, and pervasive language. It does have a runtime of 188 minutes. And it does include English Dolby Atmos, French 5.1 Dolby Digital, Spanish 5.1 Dolby Digital, English audio description and subtitles of English, English SDH, French, and Spanish. Here's your look at the back. That's all right. That's not the worst I've seen, but... Uh, Looks like maybe that glass got shot. Let's check out the inside. As the disc flies out, it's just jumping out. Uh, see, there is interior art. That is the Blu-ray bonus features disc. The 4K disc in plain black. It does have Dolby Vision. I did not see Dolby Vision listed here. Oh, it does say Dolby Vision and Atmos. I did not see the Dolby Vision, which I thought was weird from a Paramount title. Interior is a little boring. Babylon. This was a very interesting movie. So it does have a three hour runtime, which is extremely long. Very hard to keep me focused on a movie for three hours. Although I think this one will grab your attention and keep you entertained for the three hours. Now, a lot of things about this movie uh, did confuse me. Uh, it does star Brad Pitt, who seems to really like to be in these kind of oddball, strange movies. Uh, also stars Margot Robbie, and she was amazing in this movie, playing this just a really strange character. Now, this movie is about Hollywood and filmmaking in the 20s, and I don't know if it went into the 30s. I'm not sure how long <laughs> the time frame of this movie was, but it basically is the time frame between the silent film era and when they started actually making talking pictures. And I was also confused because there's a lot of similarities between this movie and Singing in the Rain. There's even a clip in the movie of uh, a Singing in the Rain performance. And then towards the end, there's a whole bunch of Singing in the Rain stuff. And I, I don't know, is Singing in the Rain based on a true story? I, I don't know. I was just... Very confused what was going on. Uh, but basically, the movie starts with this guy. He's trying to get this elephant transported to this party. And it's this crazy Hollywood party full of debauchery, drugs, sex, alcohol, anything and everything you can imagine. Just people kind of being wild and free and, and, and really pretty crazy. And, um, and then just shortly after, um, and one of the women in the movie, they're filming the next day. Uh, she ODs, and so they just say, put her in the movie, and it's Margot Robbie's character. And from there, she becomes a movie star, instantly becoming like the greatest actress of all time. And everybody's so impressed with her, and she becomes, you know, a, a fan favorite. Um, and then very quickly after that, um, they get into the talking pictures, and they go into a lot of detail about the difficulty of making the talking pictures. And as I said, very similar to the movie Singing in the Rain and um, kind of follows her career a little more. She gets into drugs and alcohol and gambling, and they kind of try to turn her around um, 
but she really can't turn her life around. She just doesn't want to, I guess, you know? And so, so it was a very interesting movie. I don't know why, but they really, they really want to go for the gross out factor, which is a very odd thing to put in a movie like this. Uh, they seemed almost more like gags out of scary movie or Harold and Kumar. And I was like, why is this stuff in here? And it was disgusting between elephant pooping on people, uh, people throwing up on each other, toilet noises. I, I was like, why is this stuff in this movie? It doesn't really make sense. And definitely I wish they hadn't. Like, I just don't understand the point of it uh, other than just to kind of gross out the audience. And there's some scenes that I just, I feel like they went too far. Uh, great performances, great production. It looked great. It was super interesting. Like I say, there's some things about the story that I just could not wrap my head around, and I was a little confused what exactly they were going for. It was a very interesting movie. If you have three hours to spare, check this one out. I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check the says videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay. The video is done, choose another video. Still here? Subscribe, and visit my social media links.